And I'm not saying 1 million, 2 million. I'm talking about, like, I think 5 million. And, yeah, that really narrows it down, because, you know... <laughs> Who doesn't have 5 million subscribers? You know, I think the thing about YouTube was, back in the day, I remember back in the day, it was so, you know, having, when Syndicate hit 1 million subscribers, that was a really big thing. That was, like, something that nobody ever thought was possible, you know? And now, what, he's at, I don't know, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's... Uh, not much higher up. I'm pretty sure he's at like 5 million, 6 million or something. But, you know, and uh, then you have people like PewDiePie who have like 12 million or something. I think 16 million. You know, they have ridiculous amounts of subscribers. As compared to me, I only have like 38, but I don't care. It's not the subscribers, really. I mean, yeah... <laughs> Subscribers aren't a number, um, well, they are a number, like, technically it's a number of people, but they're people, and it's just people who watch your videos, and there are people who are really grateful for the amount of subscribers they have, I'm, I don't care that I have 38, I'm really happy about it, honestly, because it's like, that means technically 38 people said, hey, I want to see videos from this guy, you know, and that means, that means actually a lot to me. Yes, 38 is a little amount, but still, it's, it's people, you know, it's people who actually want to watch what I post, or, you know, want to see what I'm doing, and that means a lot, because to a person that generally thinks that nobody really cares, it, it shows that 38 people care. And, you know, all I ever wanted in life was one person to care. And it took me a long time just to sort of see that people care. It took me a long time. It took me much longer than it should have. But it's just so nice. I don't know. I'm happy. Like, <laughs> oh gosh, Mr. Uh... Oh gosh, no, 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 fuck. Cunt. Okay. Ooh, I'm juking all the enemies. Oh, nope. But yeah, I digress. Um. It's just nice. It's nice to have 38 subscribers, and hopefully one day I really want to, like, my biggest goal for 2014, like, I've uh, 2015, I don't even know what year I am, uh, for 2015, you know, I've seen a lot of people have goals like, oh, I want to hit, you know, 100,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers, you know, and I'm here just like, you know, I, I honestly would like to at least hit 50. <laughs> I'd like to hit 50, because, you know, that's, that's a lot of people, that's a, you know, usually when I think about the amount of subscribers a person has, I try to imagine all those people in one room, and, you know, 38 people in one room, that's, that's even hard to fit, you know, so it's just like, that's crazy, but, um, back to what I was talking about with the, uh, children, you know, children are the, um, something, something about capitalism. Children, but children basically are the root of capitalism. They help out businesses and companies and, you know, even people who make YouTube videos, you know. Um, children who, like, now there's nothing wrong with children. There's nothing wrong at all. But, um, basically what I'm referring to is, uh, like... Okay, Destiny. Destiny is a perfect example. Now, Activision sees that um, that children, that people who were playing Call of Duty and Halo and you know all of these games from the past. Ooh, I have the golden shovel. All these games from the past are old now. Like me, 
I I played the original Halo. I played Halo 2, played Reach, never played 3 or ODST, but you know, I loved Halo 2, Halo 1. Uh, well, not Halo 1, Halo Combat Evolved, rather. But I still call it Halo 1, just for simplicity's sake. Um, get out of my way, get out of my way. And, you know, I, I enjoy it. I enjoyed all the Halos, except for 3 and ODST, which I never played. I was going to play Halo 3, but I never played with uh, friends that much, because I wanted to play through it with friends. And, you know, we hardly ever talked, so that made it hard. But... Um, yeah, so, basically, I enjoyed Halo a lot, and now I'm 17, and that's crazy, because I'm almost 18, and, you know, they'll see that some of their old fan base, you know, most of the people who enjoyed Halo in its prime, and, uh, even Halo 2 on Xbox Live was, they're like... 22 now i'd give it 22 because you know halo 2 was what like 2004 no not 2004 that's too early i think 2002 or 2003 you know so they see that these people are going off to college and you know they don't necessarily have enough time for video games so what do they do they sort of go for younger children you know they they rated destiny t for you know, um, I'm pretty sure uh, a lot of people have different theories as to why they did it, but you know, most people, uh, most people I've talked to want to believe that um, it's because Bungie wanted to market to chill, uh, be able to sell the game to children easier, and you know, and that that sounds partially true because. Where where's Activision's money gonna come from? I mean, granted, there are people who make money off of YouTube, who are, uh, you know, twenty twenty three, who are in college, and they pass high school and they have jobs, but they still make time to make these videos, watch these videos, play these games, and yet that's not a good enough number for Activision. So. They have to uh, get the money elsewhere from kids because, well, the kids will follow their games until they're old enough. The kids will follow their games until they're going to college. And once they go off to college, you know, they'll probably stop following it. Then Activision will just probably continue to market to younger children because the more the younger children like the game, the more their parents are going to want to buy it for them because they like it so much and it's something, you know. So it's just, I don't know. It, it, bas it basically helps capitalism run, you know. Uh, children buying products or their parents buying products for them. So it helps everything just together. Whereas... Um, if you try to market to adults, yeah, there are some things you can market to adults. And what am I looking for right now? I didn't want to hit the dashboard button. I want to... I was looking for... Oh, there it is. Or not. Where was it? But, yeah, so that's that's basically a problem, yet not a problem at the same time. It's a problem because, you know, Destiny... <laughs> Um, Destiny, I really do enjoy Destiny. It's a fun game to play, and my only complaint is that it, the story was too short, and it wasn't as in-depth as it was originally going to be, and that sucks. Um, but, you know, it, from what I've heard, it's pretty much because children wanted to, um, or not children, uh, the children didn't want to do this, I can assure you that children aren't, you know, saying children as in, like, a hive mind of children. Um, but, you know, uh, because Activision wanted to make it simpler for children to follow and, you know, so they can understand the game and enjoy the game themselves. And it just, to me, it feels like if they didn't do that, um they could have actually had a better game. They could have had a game that everybody loved. It could have been the greatest game of all time, but 
they decided just to focus on children and what children want and not that that's a bad thing it's a good thing they're on you know their side but it's just it's bad you shouldn't do that and still um there's a lot of concepts within the game that you know can be found within the Grimoire cards which i mean i doubt children are going to go to bungie.net and just look up the Grimoire cards you know I, I highly doubt that, yet still there could be some who are truly interested in Destiny, not just for the shooting of space aliens, but for the shooting of um, Fallen and Hive and Vex and Cabal, you know, they, they could be actually interested in, you know, the lore of the game instead of just playing um, a space alien shooter thing, but I don't know. I'm not a kid, so I wouldn't understand what kids would want. Um, according to Xbox, I'm still a kid, though, because apparently if you're 17, you aren't considered an adult. You are still a child. So that's fun. Um, yeah. Um, where was I? I'm, I'm, right now, I'm just trying to focus on getting the um, thing, the thing, the thing the thing uh, I don't know I should probably end this soon because it's coming to be like 40 minutes or so and I'm not uploading I'm oh god dang it um but yeah I mean I'll probably make another video later talking more about destiny and my thoughts on destiny because I enjoy destiny it's a fun game to play but it's just I I I can't stop playing it honestly like I've been having it's like an addiction, you know, you once you play a bit of it, you have to play all of it, you know, and you're trying to get to level 32 now, and it's just too, it's a lot, so, I'll make, I'll make a, a video talking more in depth about Destiny and how I feel about it, but basically, essentially, it's just going to be talking about how Activision was greedy and how they ruined Destiny, um, but yeah, the Grimoire cards actually are pretty deep. Like, while I was taking a look at them, they were like, there was were, there were stuff within it. Like, um, I'm trying to remember exactly what uh, there was. I, re I, I can't remember for the life of me now. It sucks. Um, oh. Uh, not even within the Green War cards, this was, like, I remember the Banshee, um, well, not the Banshee, but, you know, all the Exos, um, you know, I'm pretty sure most people never wondered why they had the dash next to their name, but I ended up finding it out because, you know, this guy made a video and explained it, and I was like, wow, that's really deep, but that's because, um, uh, you know, like, Banshee 44, uh, the gunsmith, he was talking something about, like, how many times have I been wiped? You know, 41, 42, 43? And then it sort of hints that he's been wiped 44 times. You know, he's... And, um, you know, it's like, that's crazy. But then you start to think about, maybe, why has he... Why was he wiped, you know? You know, he possibly couldn't have done anything bad. Maybe it was the enemies. And I'd like to doubt that it's the enemies. I'd like to doubt that it's the darkness. Me, I would personally like to bet that, you know, in the in the original story, I'd like to bet that the Traveler was evil because the Traveler was used for evil purposes and the Speaker is evil. So it's like, maybe, maybe Banshee44 just knew too much. Maybe since he knew too much, he was sort of wiped. Yeah. Nobody truly knows except for the original writer for Destiny. But, it's, you know, he hasn't said anything. And granted, he probably did say something. But he, uh... He probably was lying, or it wasn't even him, because I remember t hearing about that Reddit post, um, ooh, 
I remember hearing about that Reddit post, uh, and, wait, what? I still have that thing. Alright. Yeah, um, I, I remember hearing about that Reddit post, and people, like, still don't know if it's true or fake or if it exists or not, but, you know. It will not if it exists. People know it exists. People seen it. People took screen caps. You know, people documented it. But still, it's just like nobody knows if it's legit or not. And if it is legit, good. Good, because that would have been an original... That would have been a great story. But now it's just... The story is bad. But yeah. Um... The Traveler, the evil, the speaker, evil. You know, I feel like maybe they wiped uh, their minds because they just started to realize and they started to know too much. So what what could they do other than just protect themselves? You know, you can't really blame them for wanting to keep their evil a secret until the right time. I don't know, that's just my... Uh, conspiracy side um coming out <laughs> a conspiracy theorist kills them oh gosh my shield's broken now oh hey look at that I don't want the <sighs> stop giving me the sight <laughs> But yeah, I'll, I'll probably make a video um, later on talking about like pretty much every... Oh yes, what I wanted. Pretty much talking about all my different uh, thoughts on Destiny. Um, because Destiny is a really good game. I'll probably read off some of the Grimoire cards um, if I can find some to sort of help support theories. Um, and because I, I have a lot of Grimoire cards. And I like that you can just go to the website and read them off because that's that's a really cool addition just to add more story to the game. And you know, I feel like they spent a lot of time on Destiny originally, but and then they then everything turned into DLC: the House of Wolves expansion, the um, uh, the Dark Below expansion, even the uh, the Comet expansion, the like full game expansion the um and then the vex vex void and then the uh legion of the gods or something because like those are apparently all the dlcs that are coming out but i'm pretty sure they they already have the first two done like we you know they they already have the first two done because people have been able to glitch into these different areas within the thing all that needed to spawn were the enemies so yeah, I, I should probably stop talking about Destiny because I said I was going to stop talking about Destiny. So that way I can actually, you know, make a video later on while playing Destiny to explain the Destiny story and what's wrong with it. Because, you know, I've seen a bunch of videos about conspiracy theories and Destiny being bad. And, well, not bad, but being bad because of, you know, um, them changing everything up last second. So, I don't know. I'll do that later, probably in a few days after um, this one. Maybe when this last part is uploaded, because this is going to be like a three part video, almost four part video. So, when the last part gets uploaded, that's probably when I'll start um, making that video, and then I'll probably upload that, because I don't really have time right now. Like, this is probably the last time I'll make a video for the rest uh, for a few days maybe five six days or so um, so well not five or six days but you know for a few days maybe four or maybe three so this will give me time so that's good I like time I like time time's nice and I'm at round 18 and I'm happy where I got uh, this is my first time coming back to zombies and I almost have 500 kills um, so yeah Oh no, that not juggernaut. I'll just continue to sit down here and camp.
Like, if I get overwhelmed and die, I get overwhelmed and die. Which I kind of want to get overwhelmed and die pretty soon, because, like, I'm done with what I was talking about. Originally, I was just going to make a video just only talking about, you know, the rumors and stuff about zombies and, you know, the thoughts and... Um... Oh, hi. Alright, cool. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, I was gonna make just that video, but then it sort of extended on to me talking about Minecraft and stuff, and people, you know... And people playing Minecraft. So, uh, to recap... Um, on the 27th, I'll be sure to record a lot of ExoZombies gameplay and probably upload, like, I'll probably do what I did with Exo Survival, probably just upload a straight, like, hour or something, you know. I'll upload a lot of gameplay, probably no commentary behind it, just so people can watch it and try to enjoy it as it is. Um, and then maybe later on I'll make a commentary, um with the thing explaining a lot of stuff about it because I am excited for um, Exo Zombies and I hope everybody else I mean I know not everybody else is but I hope a lot of people are too because it's good it looks good it plays good I'm not gonna get swarmed I don't think oh now I am gonna get swarmed never mind I just let them swarm up on me like that, I can get swarmed. See, what makes this better is the fact that I don't have the um, ice staff. If I had the ice staff, this would be too easy. All I need now is ammo. You know, all that I'm sort of running low on is ammo now, because all I have is this last clip and I'm dead. Well, not dead. Let's see if I can juke out zombies. Nope, I'm not. Oh, hey, no, I don't have much faith in my abilities but I have good abilities I'm like good right now unintentionally I'm being good oh I died where the heck I don't want to grab that zombie blood I'm not grabbing that zombie blood oh wait, actually you know I'm gonna grab the zombie blood anyways cuz I want to make it round 20 or not. There's a lot of zombies here. If one of them drops max ammo. I don't have a... Alright, I don't have speed cola, so... All I pretty much have is just the spats 4, 4, 7 plus, and my wits, and the zombie blood until it runs out. Let's see if I can survive on this. Because this is insane. Oh, hi. Axe ammo. Thank you, I, you, I need that. Oh. Oh, no, I died. Well, I got to round 20. Let's see the stats. 597 kills, 3 downs, 2 revives, and 223 headshots. 80,525 points. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, whatever time you're watching this. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. And if you didn't, tell me what I did wrong. Um, you know, in the comments, leave a comment saying, Oh, this video is bad because you're bad. You know, don't don't leave that. Leave, leave constructive criticism. Jesus Christ, I can't stop. Alright, there's something wrong with me. Um, but just leave a comment explaining what I did wrong, or maybe suggestions for the next video or something besides the Destiny video, because I'm going to get to that soon. Anyways, I should probably also finish my Let's Play, uh, the, the party plays as well of Kingdom Hearts and Reseteer. I'll do that later as well. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, whatever time you're watching this. I've already said this before, but my name is Friday Midnight, and...